in this part, which is part eight of the coin market cap series, we're going to convert now our dot here of the interpolation into a nice matching color. Or as you can see here, as we hover over, once we go to the red area, it becomes red and it be turns green once it's above this item here. Let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to look now at creating the dot. So right now our dot, if you can look at it, it doesn't convert into a right color. So what we need to do now is if you're on the green part, it needs to be green. And if you're red, we should be red. So how do we do this? Well, luckily this is very, very easy to do. If you scroll down here at the bottom, and then what we're going to do here, because this was basically the calculation, what we had for the interpolation. And now what we're going to do here is the following. All right. So what I'm going to do here, we have this color here, which is a default color. I'm going to remove that one, or at least I'll comment this out. So it will become eventually black. But what we need to do is an if statement. If the value surpasses this item, meaning the value will be higher, compared to 933 or equal to 933 in that case it is considered green if it's lower it will be considered as red so if you understand the logic of that one we could probably just quickly do this by copying this copy that here and we're going to put it in the here i'm going to create here an if statement this if statement will be based on two items first of all we have the 933 or we get the pixel number of this. So you have to choose for yourself, are you going to get the absolute number, which is this number here, 933, or you get the pixel related number. If you get the pixel related number, which I will do, in that case, you need to understand that as we go down more, the pixels increases. And if you go up, the amount of pixels decreases. This is very important. This is going to chart area. If you don't understand it, watch the video understanding chart area in chart yes, which you can find that video you can find in the description box. So what I'm going to do here is we need to get first what we call the opening value of this one, 933. But then, of course, in here above, we can do it just here above. Uh, let's do it here. I'm going to say here, um, well, we can do it like that. Constant. And I'm going to say here the Y opening. And this is basically the opening number of 933, but we're going to soft code this. So we're going to say here, get the Y dot get the pixel for the value and the value here is basically this one here i'm going to copy this and put here number zero index zero because this is the first one one thing is uh, i want to give you a quick warning if you're going to start to zoom in and zoom out this might change or if you're going to pen it might change so for that later on we have to fix this probably so I'm going to say here it is, and then I'll just say here, solid. I'm putting that there as a note for me later on. And probably there are multiple items we need to solve, but don't worry about it. That is, that is basically for the future or for other episodes, not for, for here now. So then what I want to do is once we have this, we get the pixel for value of this. So now we can compare this with our Y coordinates. And all I want to know now is basically if our y coordinate, oh sorry, not even a y coordinate, it is more than a y coordinate, because what we're really doing here, we have to scroll down here, we have to get basically this one here. Uh, the entire formula here, probably, this is the one we need. And I guess what we should do here, maybe put a constant in here as well. I'm going to say here constant. And what I'm going to say with this constant here, or sorry, not even con I'm use a let. The reason why I'm using a let because we're in a loop. It's probably better to use a let instead. And then I'm going to say here, y interpolation, because basically what we're doing is interpolation. So this here calculates eventually the item. So I'm going to copy that, put that in there. And then I can say here, y interpolation can be converted in here. So that looks slightly more cleaner. Now we have the if statement. And basically, well, let me show you if you have the interpolation. And the interpolation should be dependent on wherever we hover. So if we do a console all, we should see now the value of this. Refresh, open up developer tab. As we hover over it, as you can see here, there we are. It starts to show a value. What that value is, that's the amount of pixels here. And if you are like here above, you can see here it is 50. And then 
we go here and if we go down here you can see that it's beyond the 50 so it's called 87 or something like that so what i want to do now is this if statement i'm going to create an if statement and this if statement will be if uh, let's see here what we're going to do is if the y opening which is our starting point or the opening of the stock market on that moment is larger or equal to interpolation in that case so if it's uh, larger or equal to this in that case we probably need to make it um a red i'm going to give it a color red if it's smaller in that case we make it green so let's grab the colors here and i'm going to go just all the way up to the very top here we have so these background colors i guess we could even comment this out this has no value anymore for us scroll down and we're just going to put in all these colors here and then after we're going to get the ones we need the first one is red so that's the one we need so i'm going to say here and then we need this the fourth one as well so the other two are not necessary so I'm going to say here, then I'm going to say here the uh, ctx fill style, ctx .fill style equals, here we are, this should be the red color. And then I'm going to say else, if that is not the case, so if that means that it is smaller compared to the Y opening, in that case it's a green color because it increases in value so i'm going to grab all of this here put that in there remove that double quotation semicolon here remove this all right save this and let's check if we have a working model all right interesting for some reason it doesn't work yet so let's see what's going on so we have this here we have the fill style what am i missing or maybe i need to make this a solid color that's probably the reason save refresh all right oh exactly the opposite of what i did that's what we need but as you can see it starts to work so apparently so if the y opening is larger than the interpolation in that case like that all right i thought it was exactly the opposite but fair enough doesn't matter easy to fix this issue there save refresh now if we hover over it absolutely beautiful we have now the colors as well so that's basically how we can play around with this. So in the next video, we're going to work on converting these numbers here into dates. We have to have the dates here because that's how a normal stock market chart works.